So this instrument is known as the T16 Wild. Uh, like the dumping level, hasn't been manufactured for a number of years. However, still widely employed in construction. Uh, this is called an optical theatolite. It was actually the predecessor to our, our uh, electronic total stations. Uh, to get this out of the box, or out of what we call the bombshell, you simply pull the straps out sideways, lift the top off, then it has two release clamps, so we pull these clamps out to the side, pull the levers back, and we can now remove the instrument. Now this instrument is all brass, uh, made out of aluminum, brass, and it has glass, uh, horizontal and vertical rings in it, and a lot of prisms. This is, uh, for this instrument, we have to use the flat top uh, tripod. Again, it needs to be planted firmly in the ground, and you want the tabletop reasonably level. Some of the features of the T16. Uh, again, this is an optical theatolite. Uh, it it uh, operates like a fine Swiss watch. It was manufactured uh, at one time in Switzerland. Uh, very good instrument. Uh, you'll still see these, a lot of these on construction sites. They don't uh, wear out very easy. Uh, very good motion, very powerful optics. Uh, it's an outstanding instrument. Uh, these handles can come off and there is a set of blocks that you can put on top of that for the old-fashioned EDM, which is electronic distance measuring equipment that had an umbilical cord that went to a car battery. And so with the EDM strapped on top of this, and if it's calibrated with the uh, uh, horizontal and vertical uh, uh, angle measuring capabilities of this instrument, it was the predecessor to the total station. Rather bulky, uh, somewhat difficult to uh, to carry around, but it, it was a fine instrument. Again, uh, uh, this instrument uh, has three leveling screw system, spring loaded, and on the leveling tri rack, which is this lower section from here down, uh, it has, I don't know, this may be locked out. Nope, it isn't. You can actually turn this switch and lift the instrument off the tri rack. Uh, on top of the tribe rack, there's a target bubble. Again, with the target bubble, we're going to use the leveling screws and get the bubble reasonably centered just to start out with. Uh, for students, do not take the instrument off the tribe rack. Just leave it on there. Now, the first thing we're going to do, this one has no plumb bob. Uh, this little device right here is what we call an optical plummet. Uh, to focus the point on the ground that I want to set up over, I push this in and out, and it also has a crosshair, and I twist it to focus the crosshair. So this little plummet has a prism inside. I look through this scope, it projects my image on the ground, and to get the crosshair to focus, I twist this, to get the point on the ground to focus after the crosshair is focused, I move it in and out horizontally. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to find my target, and I'm going to use a point that is the intersection of all these tiles, and I'm going to set up exactly on that point and get the instrument level. To do that, I'm going to actually take it out of level and I'm going to put my optical plummet crosshair on point utilizing the level screws. Now I'm, my little crosshair is on that point. The next thing I need to do again is re-level my target bubble on the tri rack and I do that with the legs. These legs are telescopic. So the bubble is on this side so I want to shorten this leg. Now we never unlock the tripod leg without having a hand on it as a safety. So I'm going to grip the tripod leg right here, unlock the lock, and I'm going to let the leg relax. 
And what's probably going to happen is the bubble will want to run around the circle. So I'm going to line the bubble up directly with another leg and lock this one. And then this leg, I'm going to grasp it, unlock it, and increase its length a little bit. Adjustment, then I'm going to relax this leg just a little more. And now my bubble is in the circle as a target bubble that's used on the power level and the auto level. Now this also has a straddle bubble up here. That's for refined leveling. Now just by manipulating these legs, if I still look at my point through the optical front, it's still on point. It won't move it. But now I've got to set this straddle bubble, which goes in this direction. And again, it's a, a flat glass tube with a bubble, oil filled, and it's very sensitive. I've got to get in this bubble in line with two leveling screws. To do that, I'm going to take the optical plummet and put it over one leveling screw. Now my straddle bubble is in line with these two screws. And so I'm going to make a minor adjustment with one of the leveling screws. I do not need to move both of these simultaneously. I'm going to make a small adjustment and the bubble centers. Now the optical plummet is over this screw. I don't want to touch these two anymore. So now I turn this, and there is a horizontal locking knob, and I place that over this screw. And now the straddle bubble is in line this direction, and I'm going to make a small adjustment. With this leveling screw, I don't want to touch these, or I'll take it out of level in the original direction that I had it. Now the bubble is centered. So now I'm going to take it back and put the optical plummet back over this level of screw, and I'm going to see if it went out a level in this direction. And it's still very close. So next, I want to put the locking lever, which is this device, over the leveling screw and see if the bubble reads the same in the opposite direction. If it does not, I split the difference on the bubble and make it off the same amount in each direction. This particular instrument is very close to perfect calibration. So, I'm now level, and I've got to check my point again. Now, no more than I actually had to maneuver the levels, I'm not off point very far, so now I'm going to loosen this mounting screw, not completely, but just loosen it. And I'm going to slide the instrument horizontally, but not rotate it. If I rotate it, I'll take it out of level, severely. So now I'm going to make a small movement, adjust my focus, make sure I don't have any parallax in the uh, crosshair. And 